my dear students today i would like to discuss introduction of chromatography with you people in our karnataka university darwad ug students for bsc fifth semester ug students in paper 2 chemistry one analytical chapter is there in that mainly we are going to discuss many concepts related to chromatography so before you are going to learn about different types of chromatography and its application you must know the into the basics of chromatography first when we come to chromatography this technique uh, is introduced by uh m sweat so in 196 and the the chromatography is a greek word so chromo means color and graph means writing so before going to understand its applications and different types and their working you must know you must know how some basic concepts of this chromatography some of the terminologies required to understand chromatography for you people is before going to discuss this chromatography is one of the separation and purification technique you know many separation and purification technique like fractional distillation liquefaction and solvent extraction when we come to fractional distillation there the difference in boiling point is the basis of separation when we come to liquefaction melting point is the basis of separation and in sol solvent extraction the solubility of given analyte in the sample uh, between two liquid two solvent so it is distributed between two solvent so this is a base solubility the relative solubility of given analyte between two solvent this is the basis of separation in case of solvent extraction so in case of chromatography also the analyte which is present in the solvent it is distributed partition between mobile phase and stationary phase so the chromatography can be defined as this is a separation technique in which solute partition solute is partition between between a mobile phase and stationary phase so before going to understand its classification and other type you must know some of the uh, important terminologies we are frequently used in chromatography they are mobile phase stationary phase elution eluent chromatogram so these are the words you you have to you need to understand before going to learn what chromatography is in chromatography we are going to use two phase one is mobile phase and stationary phase so mobile phase as the name itself indicates this is moving in a chromatography procedure it is not static so usually so we are going to dissolve the given sample which is containing analyte with the mobile phase and this mobile phase which is moving in a chromatographic column so this this chromatographic mobile phase either it is a liquid or gas gas in its physical state and when we come to stationary phase the stationary phase as the name tells so it is static it is it is static and it which is fixed position in chromatographic column so if you consider okay this uh, burret like structure so in the in, in this so you can, you can found a uh, a spherical okay like structure so these spherical balls are fixed in a chromatographic column and in the vacant site in the interstitial re between the interstitial region of this these uh, stationary phase the mobile phase is moving that is the stationary phase is nothing but so 
this is a phase it remained fixed position in a chromatographic column but the mobile phase it moves through the system the stationary phase either it's a solid or liquid in the physical state and elution so generally we are going to dissolve the sample in the mobile phase and we are going to pass into the stationary phase so the sample which is distributed between mobile phase and stationary phase that is so it is distributed then these analytes are separating while moving with the stationary phase and this process of separation of analyte by the continuous flow of solvent it is called as elution and for elution we are going to use the solvent okay that is called as eluting agent sometimes the mobile phase act as eluting agent or so we are going to use a separate eluting agent it is depends on the nature of stationary phase we are going to selecting or the nature of sample we are going to use in this experiment the next one is chromatograph so once after separating so we are going to identify the analytes by using suitable detector either by its property of conduction or absorption of radiation or these properties by using this so by using this one device we are going to identify the analyte so and after identifying we are going to uh, okay, write the graph of time or volume of applied mobile phase versus the property of the given analyte which is that is called as detector response in the y axis and time or volume in the applied mobile phase so this graphical representation of detector response versus time or volume so this is called as chromatogram and retention time and retention volume retention time means so in the retention time so when you when we apply the sample so the sample in a chromatographic procedure it passes from the point of injection and it reach the detector so the time taken by the given mobile phase to passes from the point of injection where you injected the sample or where you added the sample to the point of detector is called as retention time and so in that time the amount of volume required so this is called as retention volume that is the volume of a mobile phase needed to move a solute from solute solute is also called as analyte from its point of injection to point of detector next let us see the classification of chromatography this chromatography classified into a uh, various types based on uh, other many criteria the first criteria we are going to considering the classification of chromatography is so it is based on the contact between mobile contact between mobile phase and stationary phase based on this we are going to classify the given chromatographic technique into two types the one is column chromatography and planar chromatography so in column chromatography just observe the diagram so this is uh, imagine so this is just like a burette so in that burette we filled a solid solid material called stationary phase and we are passing a liquid that is mobile phase along with the mobile phase along with the sol analyte through this so here, here you, you can you, you can observe the different color this each color indicates a uh, different analytes that is so in this case the stationary phase which is resided in the column and the mobile phase is moving through the stationary phase that's why this is called as column chromatography but in case of planar chromatography just observe these two diagram here in this case so here we kept this okay mobile phase along mobile phase which is which dissolves the sa analyte sample here okay and here through by using a dropper we are going to introduce 
a okay mobile face containing a sample through this spherical paper okay here so we are going to dip this chromatographic paper into this solvent and the solvent okay moving away running in upward direction and here the solvent drops is moving in a spherical direction so here just observe here here the stationary phase which is fixed on a planar surface before the stationary phase which is fixed in a cylindrical surface that is column which is fixed in the column that is called as it is column chromatography here which is fixed in a planar surface that is paper that is it is called it is called as planar chromatography so next another type of classification so this type of classification is based on the chemical and physical uh, interaction which is takes place between the given sample and the stationary phase the given sample and mobile phase based on this we are classifying the chromatographic techniques based on physical and chemical mechanism responsible for the separation we are classifying into four types they are adsorption chromatography partition chromatography ion exchange chromatography and size exclusion chromatography so we are going to discuss all types of chromatography in detail in the next video so this is a second type of classification based on physical and chemical mechanism then the next type of classification is classification based on so combination of mobile phase and stationary phase so based on the combination that is based on the physical state so we are classifying okay the chromatography into five different types that is column chromatography paper chromatography ion exchange chromatography gas chromatography and i performance liquid chromatography that means you just observe here in this column chromatography usually the stationary phase is a solid and the mobile phase is a liquid but in case of gas chromatography the stationary phase is solid or liquid but the mobile phase is a gas and we are going to do the same gas chromatography under i pressure that's why it is called as i performance liquid chromatography that means the third uh, type of classification is it is it depends on the physical state of mobile phase and stationary phase used and the various combination based on this various combination we are classified into five okay categories that is column chromatography column chromatography paper chromatography ion exchange chromatography gas chromatography and i performance chromatography so dear students this is just introductory part of chromatography in the next video we are going to discuss all the types of chromatographic techniques one by one in detail so watch the next video and please subscribe my video in the youtube thank you study well